begin tonight with a stunning development in the deadly shooting over the weekend in a parking lot off Demumbrian Street in Nashville. WSMV4 Investigates has confirmed through Metro Police that a key piece of evidence was picked up and carried away by one of the men accused of being an imposter police officer in our thin blurred line investigation. Yeah, let's bring in our chief investigative reporter, Jeremy Finley. Jeremy, how does this happen? This is just a jaw dropping development. It is Marius. Tonight we have obtained body cam footage that several sources confirm shows the man at the center of our third blur thin blurred line investigation at the scene of a deadly shooting over the weekend. And Metro Police confirmed that man's actions is now part of their investigation into the shooting. A warning, some of what you're about to see could be disturbing to some viewers. Please to stay alive. It's one of the gut wrenching moments captured on body cam footage from Saturday night's shooting. An already contentious police investigation now made more complicated by this man, briefly shown in the video, Jack Bird. Bird is identified in our thin blurred line investigations as not being a licensed police officer, but still wore police identification while working security. And Bird's company, Solarin, our investigation found, either employed or employs men who also don't have state certifications to be officers, but we found them wearing police identification. The criticism of these men, they are not certified police, but act as law enforcement. This is a public safety issue. On Saturday night, police say this man, Patrick Charles, fired his gun in the parking lot after an argument. Two security officers, not employed by Bird's company, are then accused of shooting and killing Charles, saying they were protecting the public. After Charles is shot, he drops his gun in the body cam footage. Hey, 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 hey. A woman picks up Charles's gun and is told to put it down. It's unclear by whom. A Metro Police spokesman confirms in an email to WSMV4 Investigates, Bird was at a nearby hot dog cart at the time of the shooting and went to the gunfire, walked into the parking lot, and took what is presumed to be the shooter's gun from a female who had picked it up. That spokesman confirms Bird was wearing a vest identifying himself as police. According to the email from Metro Police, Bird said that he put the gun in a vest he was wearing, ultimately went back to his vehicle and remembered he had the gun. He walked up to Metro officers and gave them the weapon. Mr. Bird was interviewed as to his actions. His statement is now part of the case file documenting this fatal shooting investigation. This evening, we did receive a statement from Bird's attorney saying while they do not comment on ongoing investigations involving their staff, they are holding those affected by the shooting in their thoughts and prayers. We asked a spokesman for the district attorney's office about Bird's involvement in this case, and all that he said is that this is an ongoing investigation. 